Well, I gotta say, I'm getting a lot of use out of those free pallets I picked up a few weeks ago. This week I made this rustic wheelbarrow planter for the garden, and the cost, well, it was free. This is another limited tools project that anyone can make in a weekend. If you'd like to make it, see the description for free plans. On the base of most pallets, there's two of these kind of boards that have these little openings in them for forklifts to go. I'm just gonna cut one end off of each of these boards. Those will be the handles. All of these slats are gonna go on like this, but first I need to drill holes for the axle. To make these holes, it's gonna be a lot easier if you have a clamp. And that'll hold it steady while I drill a hole using a hole saw. I'm just using my sander to shape the handles. So that just gives me a little bit more of a handle shape and then I round it over the area where the axle goes too. I've got an old closet rod that I'm using for an axle and if you'll notice I made these holes bigger than the rod and that's just so that there's some room so that I can spread these at an angle. I'm just laying out these pieces and measuring the width of the handles up here and down here. I'm gonna glue and nail these pieces together. This wall of the bucket up front needs to be angled out. So to get that angle, I'm just going to center it and make a mark here and here. And using a square, I'll draw a line up to top. I can draw a mark two inches over. Now all I need to do is connect these two points. And I can use my jigsaw to cut out that angle. Here's where having a miter saw is really handy. I need to make some blocks that are the same angle that I cut this at. So, all I need to do is drop my saw down. I can lock it into place. And then set that angle wherever it is. It's about a 15 degree angle. Now I can glue and nail these blocks on. Well, I'm taking these blocks off now because I screwed something up. Let me show you what I did. Got the angle right on those and everything, but the problem is I don't want them to go like that with this big gap. These need to come up a little bit so that they can ride on top of that piece. Luckily, the glue hadn't dried yet, so I can put these on the right way. Now I can continue on. So I'm just gonna glue this and nail it. I'm gonna cut the corners on these side panels. I'm gonna glue them and I'm gonna screw them on rather than nail them. Well, it looks like a good spot to leave it off for tonight and I'll finish it up and put the wheel on in the morning. take that closet rod and put it into the wheel and what I've done is I've drawn a couple of lines on each side where I want to put some pins. Now I can just feed that axle through here and I'll put these pins in through those holes. And these are just short dowels. And I'm holding this axle in with a couple of long drywall nails. Those drywall nails I use are, well, these really special ones that, well, they have threads on them and there's a Phillips head on them. And rather than pounding them with a hammer, I, I use a drill. Since it's decorative, it doesn't have to roll, but I thought it might be kind of handy to move it around. And I cut out two pieces for the legs that I'm gonna glue and screw on here. One of the best things about working on rustic projects like this is that they 
free you up to really concentrate on the form and function of the object rather than bogging yourself down with exact measurements or making sure that all of the joints fit together perfectly. So free yourself. Making something like this is easy. You can do it in just a day or two, no experience necessary. And well, you'll have something cool for your garden too. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to visit my website at woodworkingformeremortals.com. Follow me on Facebook and, well, there's a whole bunch of other places you can follow me too. Oh, and don't forget to download the plans for this project. <laughs> See the description for all the links and all that stuff. <laughs> See you later.